The Borgo Auto Section Control is the first granular sectional controller on a Class A distribution system. It works with the Topcon X30 Seeder controller to manage product application when the drill overlaps a seeded section of the field. Product is controlled for 6, 8 or 9 sections depending on drill size and spacing. How it works. Product flow control is achieved at the primary manifold located on the 7000 series air seeder. The ASC manifold is equipped with hydraulically actuated knife valves controlled by the X30 seeder controller. The clean air concept. A critical feature is the incorporation of clean air to maintain a balanced product distribution system. Clean air is bypassed from the inside of the main distribution elbow, which does not contain any product. Knife valve open. When working in an unseated area, the knife valves are open and product is traveling down the primary stem and distributed evenly at the manifold to each of the secondary product lines. Clean air, which is drawn from the inside of the primary elbow, is not required at this time and is blocked off by the knife valve. Knife valve closed. When a section enters a seated area, the appropriate knife valve is closed, preventing the product from the manifold to enter that secondary line. At the same time, the metering rate is instantaneously reduced by the amount of product that was being applied through that secondary line. Clean air is now allowed to enter the secondary line. The clean air accomplishes two things. First, it flushes away any remaining product out of the closed secondary line, preventing any plugging. Secondly, air volume and flow is maintained through all the secondary lines, keeping the system balanced. Rates and distribution to the open sections remain consistent through the process. Auto Section Control Setup It is important to check the setup of the auto section control prior to seeding to ensure trouble-free operation and even seeding results. There are five recommended procedures to follow for a thorough check of the ASC system. 1. Check that the X30 is controlling the correct valves on the ASC manifold. 2. Verify the manifold ports are routed correctly to the couplers. 3. Check that the X30 is controlling the correct section on the air drill. 4. Check that the amount of delay is properly set. This can also be referred to as time off and time on. 5. Verify the entire system with a field check. Set sectional control to override. Before starting the checks, the section control feature must be set to override so you can turn the sections on and off without having to move the drill. If the override is not activated, the X30 will not allow you to turn a section back on after the first time you turn it on and off. 1. Check X30 to manifold ports. The goal of this check is to verify that the sections displayed on the X30 screen correspond to the correct ports on the ASC manifolds. You will not need product running through the air kit for this check. 8 port primary manifold. The manifold has letters cast into each port. These letters will correspond to a specific section on the air drill. The manifold is mounted on the bottom of the primary elbow. From this top down view, you can see that ports A and H are located on either side of the center line on the outside of the elbow. Six port primary manifold. Letters from A to F are cast in the ports of the six port primary manifold. From this top down view, you can see that the ports A and F are located on either side of the center line on the outside of the elbow. 10 port primary manifold. The 10 port primary manifold is a manufactured part, so the letters will be painted onto each port of the manifold. 
From this top-down view, you can see that ports A and J are located on either side of the center line on the outside of the elbow. Bottom of manifold. Start this test with all knife valves open. Beginning on the left side, turn off each section of the drill by pressing on the appropriate icon on the X30 screen. With each button push, check that the appropriate knife valve is closing. Continue along the width of the drill until all valves are closed. Refer to your operator's manual for detailed information if any corrections are required. The secondary hoses running from the manifolds to the drill must be configured correctly at the couplers. In the case of a double shoot air kit as shown here, the seed hoses have the black helix and the fertilizer hoses have the red helix. The air drill sections from left to right are numbered, starting at 1 on the left side of the drill. In the case of an 8 port primary, Section 1 begins at the top of the first coupler and works down and across to the end at Section 8 at the top of the right hand coupler. Use the information on this chart to trace the secondary lines from the manifold to the coupler ensuring that the configuration is correct. Six port primary manifolds will also use two couplers with the two bottom ports left open. Use the information on this chart to check that the routing is correct. 10 port primary manifolds require three couplers, with the two top ports on the left coupler unused. Refer to this chart to check that the routing is correct. Refer to your operator's manual for detailed information if any corrections are required. 3. Check controls at air drill sections. This check will verify that the sections displayed on the X30 screen correspond with the correct sections on the air drill. Start this test with all the knife valves open and the air seeder metering product. The granular section icons on the X30 should all be green. Beginning on one side, Turn off each section by pressing on the appropriate icon on the X30 screen. With each button push, check that product flow to that same section on the drill stops. You will notice that the red button over the section icon will turn red as soon as you press it, but it will take a few seconds before the icon itself will turn red. This represents the time off the time required for the product left in the line to be purged out. Continue along the width of the drill until all valves are closed. The auto section control is configured as a 9 section system when a 10 port primary manifold is required on the drill. At this time, the X30 is capable of controlling up to 9 sections, so both ports 5 and 6 are controlled as one section, section 5, situated on the center of the drill. Section 5 is displayed on the screen as a wider section than the remaining. 4. Check product timing. This test will verify that the X30 is applying the appropriate amount of time for product to purge or charge the lines when the knife valve is activated. There are two factors that need to be verified, on time and off time. On time is the amount of time it takes for when product starts flowing at the metering auger to when that product emerges from the boot into the soil. This value is found by measuring the time it takes from when the metering auger starts turning to when it exits the opener along the longest hose run. Off time is the amount of time it takes from when the product stops flowing at the metering auger to when the product stops coming out of the boot. 
Find this value by timing when the metering auger stops turning to when product stops coming out of the opener along the shortest hose run. On time test. You will need product running through the air kit to conduct this test. It will be necessary to have a second person to watch the opener on the drill and signal you when product starts coming out the boot. Start the test with the metering augers off and the fans running. Prime the augers to make sure product enters the distribution system as soon as the clutch is turned on. Situate the second person by the outside of the drill. This person will give you a signal when the product begins exiting the opener. When ready, turn on the metering clutch. Using a watch or a stopwatch, measure the time between turning on the clutch and when the observer on the drill sends you a signal. Repeat this test several times, if necessary, to get a reliable result. In the X30 screen, press your setup icon in the lower left hand corner. Next, select Implement, then Section Control. Press Timing. Check if the on time setting corresponds with the results from the test. If not, select on time, enter in the new value, then press the green check mark. 5. Field Check. This final check will allow you to check all of the auto control settings in the field. Before starting this test, check that you have enough product in your tank for the entire test. Also, remove the override mode from the X30 so you will operate in normal field mode. First pass. Seed for approximately 400 feet in a straight line. Second pass. Seed in the opposite direction beside the first pass. Third pass. Turn and approach the first two passes at 90 degrees and begin seeding again. Watch the monitor so that the sectional control icons are turning off and on at the appropriate times. Fourth pass. Turn again and seed into the first two passes this time at a 45 degree angle. Watch that the appropriate sections are turning off at the correct time when entering the seated area and turning back on again when exiting the seated passes. It is also a good suggestion to get out of the tractor and dig into the seed bed along the boundaries of the interlapping passes to check that seed and fertilizer is turning off and on at the correct times. Refer to your operator's manual for detailed information if any corrections are required.